Hey guys, um, it's Miss Sauce. I want to take some time and show you how to do your Bitmoji locker real quick in case you were having trouble. I know a couple of you um, gave me a one or a two and asked how confident you were. So let me just help you out with that. You're going to go to your class period. Everything you need to do is under classwork. It also shows you in here under upcoming because we know this is due Friday. Um, so you're always welcome to click that. But I want you to get in the habit of checking all your classwork daily. So go to the classwork tab and we see our Bitmoji locker. Once you get to your Bitmoji locker, you're just going to open this up and it should open you into a new page. And you will see my example Bitmoji locker. And you're welcome to use mine for some inspiration. Once you get to your blank locker, I'm going to show you how to add some new stuff. You can go to insert image. So if you already have pictures of yourself and your family and your friends that you want to upload from your computer, feel free to do that or else you can just search the web. Um, so I went to, I, I like to garden. I'm in, I'm in a gardening class. So I'm going to put um, a flower for my locker. But it's important that it has a transparent background because we want it to look like it belongs. And so I'll show you what happens if I don't do transparent background. So you see how I can um, make it look just like it belongs on there? If I wasn't to write transparent background and I just wrote flower, I'll show you what it looks like. And so maybe I want to do this. But now it has a background on it, right? So you're welcome to do one with a background. It doesn't look too bad, right? That's up to you, but I recommend doing the transparent background. Um, and so all you're going to do is include um, 10 things, at least 10. And it can be something to do with your music, preference, TV shows you like, um, books, hobbies, food. So I could... I love tacos, so I could search search web. Taco, transparent background, it just pops up. And I don't really like crispy tacos, but that'll work. And I'm going to hang this on my bulletin board, so I remember to go get some lunch. And so you guys feel free to get creative with it. You're going to have to resize. Um, and play around with it for a little bit. But you really only need 10 objects. You're welcome to do more than that, um, but no less than 10. Once you are finished with your locker and you feel confident in it, then go ahead and go down here, and then you're going to summarize why you chose these items. So I chose a taco because it is my favorite food. And so you guys would go a little bit more in depth because you're going to have 10 items and you can also take this text and make it smaller so you can fit all of your information. If you have any questions about how to finish this up, then just feel free to email me, comment, or you can put your questions always in our parking lot.